Atmos TV Entertainment without bow. Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Enola Badmos TV Box Pop. My name is Bisola Ade, but you can call me Lady V. And today, I'll be turning up just a little bit. With the current situation of Nigeria, most especially with the NSAS protests, do you think Nigerian youth voice have been heard? Do you think Nigerian youth have a say? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigerian youth will have a seat in the government house? Before you tell me your opinion, let's hear what Nigerians have to say. Keep watching. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Adetunji. Mr. Adetunji. With the current situation of Nigeria, most especially with the NSAS protests, do you think Nigerian youth now have a voice? Do you think we are being heard? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigerian youth will have a seat in the government house? Um, to your question, I don't think so. Why I say I don't think so that the voice of the youth are not being heard? is because the way things were right from the past, there is no any sign to show that their voice are being heard. If not, what really happened at that show gate? It's really, really uncalled for. We are humans. We are not animals. There are ways to tackle such issues. They should have just go there and just carry them away with tear gas. That was instead of them opening fire on them. They are humans. And, and as well, they are fighting for their rights. Am I communicating? I'm a youth as well. I'm supposed to be there. But I knew what will happen. I knew, I'm telling the truth, I knew what will happen, that Nigeria is not a place whereby they will hear you in a soft way. They are making a peaceful protest. They only have flags in their hands, no weapons in their hands, and they are opening fire on them, for Christ's sake. It's not done anywhere, I'm telling you the truth. Protests have been happening all over the world. When you are having that flag with you, it shows a sign of peace. A sign of peace. So I don't really know why they are doing them like that. So we need justice. We need justice. Before our voice can be heard in this country, I'm telling you the truth. What we need to do that the international bodies has to come in. The international body has to come. But if we should leave it with them, with our leaders in Nigeria, they are just doing rubbish. I'm telling you the truth. They are just doing rubbish. Let me tell you the truth. What they are doing in Nigeria, they are doing the kind of a scenario of what we call we we. We we is that they all know themselves. They are all the same. There's nothing like PDP or APC. It's a lie. They are all one. I'm telling you the truth. But the justice, everybody, they are the same. They are the same. But if you are not part of them, I'm telling you, you are going to have a problem. But if you are part of them, you don't have any problem. So that's what that is happening. Mr. Luchiji, if you were to be the president at that point of the NSAS protest, what would you have done differently? If I had been the president, what I would have done is this. I'm going to call on uh, a body to come in that they should, they should immediately sit and to see how they can talk to these people in peace. Such thing they call it emergency. They call it urgent. Need that need to be attended to immediately. You have to stop everything that you are doing and to say a word of peace to them. That okay, this is what you people want. Please give us so, 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 so time for us to do all these things for you. Even I thought they cannot meet up with all the requests that they made. But people would have seen the sign that things are being done. You understand? It's not, it's not a thing that you just say, we will do it, we will do it, we will do it. Nigeria is a place that we just talk and talk and talk and talk. We don't have action. But they have action now to kill people. But they don't have action to take the right thing to be done. So that is my own view with all these things that is happening i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen good afternoon sir what's your name my name is Olukowido. Olukowido. 
with the current situation of Nigeria, with the NSAS protest, do you think Nigeria youth now have a voice? Do you think we are being heard? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigeria youth can have a seat in the government house? Well, what I have to say is that Nigerian youth, for, for example, the current of the economic of Nigeria now, Nigerian youth, out of 100%, I can say likewise, we have, we have 30. Because most of the youth have sold, have sold their rights to the elders. Just, just one of situation of, of how to put something in their stomach. Or um, likewise, um, 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 the last protest that came out around um, October 20, then killed Nigerian youth. It is the Nigerian youth fault. Because um, after the um, ending of the protestants, we're supposed to come out mobilizing ourselves to go to the our various sectors of, um, of where our governors are living to fight for our rights. And um, after that one, 2023 election, may God guide Nigerians. Do you think it's high time Nigerian youth have a party or January already? No, this is the right time. And if we can talk to ourselves, sit under one umbrella and under, under one situation, we, we Nigerian youth can. Because when we are young, they say, pay and listen to your children. We are the leaders of tomorrow. We, we are no more the leader. People, people directing Nigeria from the 1960s, those are the present people are people that are there now and mm, I don't think when we call ourselves together we can move Nigeria more forward Good afternoon sir, what's your name? My name is Emmanuel Dixon Emmanuel Dixon, with the current situation of Nigeria, most especially with the NSAS protests, do you think Nigerian youth now have a voice? Do you think the next coming election, Nigerian youth can have a seat in the government house? Okay, yes, probably I think there will be a rise in interest in the next elections based on the previous happenings from last year. But currently, uh, that hasn't been carried out yet. The voices have not been heard. Yes, SARS may have been disbanded, but the same police brutality is cropping up in various aspects of society again. So, I think presently it wasn't heard, but in the next election, there will be enough interest for most youths. Do you think it's high time Nigerian youth have a party? Uh, <laughs> concerning that, I have no idea concerning it, but I think that um, we are still recycling the same politicians that have ruled this country for the past 50 years. So, yes, there should be a change of personnel in political parties and all, and also ideologies too. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Franklin. I call Fire. Uh, Mr. Franklin, with the current situation of Nigeria, most especially influenced by the NSAS protests, do you think Nigerian youth are being heard? Do you think Nigerian youth now have a voice? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigerian youth can have a seat in the government house? Nigerian youth, I think they have voice, but their voice is not being heard. Uh, like the, the recent issue we have, uh, the recent. Um, uh, Miss Ochi, we have uh, at uh, Lake Itogate. It was, it was, uh, I, it, it was a kind of uh, heartbreaking that Nigerians are trying to, for the government to understand that they are, they are, that, that to be considered as Nigerian citizen, uh, a Nigerian future, and then, unfortunately, it turned to be a kind of a bloody uh, kind of uh, result. That is, it was sad, it was sad that Nigeria cannot consider their future by yielding to the, uh, to the voice of the, their, their, future, their future leaders. It was so sad. Actually, they have a voice, they have a voice, and they, they, they speak out. They pour, they express their grief on the current uh, situation in Nigeria, but their voice is not heard. Do you think it's high time Nigeria youth had their own party? Do you think they are ready or they're not ready? The Nigerian youth, uh, it's hard time, like seriously, it's hard time for Nigerian youth to uh, 
to stand up to have their own to to get involved in politics like on the normal basis it was as if uh, politics is not for youth but let me say it is our responsibility to rise up now and make a change in nigeria because the future is lying on our hands the future is in our hands so it's hard time for us to stand up as a youth and pick up the banner so the next coming election would you vote yes i'll vote but i will make the right decision that will not affect me tomorrow again What's your name? I'm Adi. Ah, Adi. With the current situation of Nigeria, do you think Nigerian youth have a seat in the government house? Do you think Nigerian youth have a voice, most especially with the NSAS protests? Do you think Nigerian youth were being heard? Um, uh, we don't have leaders, we don't have, we don't have voice at all. Because the way of this situation is going, we want to raise our voice out to, to NSAS. But they are killing our, our niggas, our youths. They are killing everybody. Ah, I'm always going to fight. We don't have voice at all. They have voice. Do you think Nigerian youths to form their own party? Do you think it's high time they have their own party? Or they are not ready? Truly, it's time to form our own party. But we don't have strong people to come out for it. We don't have strong people at all. As a strong youth, which everybody should gather to form it. We don't have, they have the college. People don't have the college. That is your. In the next coming election, would you vote? Why not? If it's our own youth, I will surely vote. But if it's all these our leaders. If we are still stuck with the two system party, would you? There are more than two system party, I mean, but we know the two parties that are always ruling. If it's two those two parties that are on it, would you vote? I can't, I can't choose on the two. Both is uh, APC and PDP. I, I can't show, but if it's, they initially form another one that is for of youth. Uh, but with all these our old leaders, no. I can't vote too. So, because uh, for, uh, for the answer situation, <laughs> people can't vote too, so, I swear. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Manu. Manu, with the current situation of Nigeria, most especially influenced by the NSAS protests, do you think Nigerian youth have a voice? Do you think Nigerian youth are being heard? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigerian youth can have a seat in the government house? Mm, what I would say, concerning the last NSAS uh, protests that happened and the killing of the innocents, what is happening recently now towards the NSAS issue? I'm not seeing anything they are doing. They are not taking any action. Because if they take action, first of all, the voice of the innocent one that died, what is, it, what is the thing they did to them? That is the most important thing. And now the next coming election taking place, first of all, now what is happening, the economy that is happening in this country is making the situation going very hard. That is why you see the young ones today now, the way they are hustling. They are not hustling to make it. They are hustling to, they are striving to hustle. For them to put something in their belly, which is not supposed to be so. But the matter concerning answers, they should answers finally and reinforce the police. Because the police now, they're no more doing their duty. These all of them now look like what happened today now or yesterday. The kidnapping that is happening at the northern part. They have intelligence that are good in the aspects of the kidnapping. It's not the young ones that are trying to survive to make their ends meet. They will be looking after. Look, look, look at me now. I'm mostly caught in the shit. If I make it tomorrow now, driving my own car, will anybody just come and come and ask me that I want to look I, I access to my phone, I have privacy to my phone? That is not meant to be so. Just for, for the most, look for the modern, fundamental case that is happening in Nigeria. From the elementary, before they now say they are looking for individuals that are going on their own, harassing them, what do you carry, what do you have? Leaving the major matter that, that is happening in the country. So the voice is not heard. They do not even take any action because the matter is still going more seriously. Arising, they are still harassing the youth. Youth will be going on their own now. Nobody is. You cannot be free now. You carry bag now and go to computer village. You will see the way they will just run and come and jack you. I say that what do you have in your bag? And which is not meant to be so. So nobody has freedom of his own again. 
right to speak. You now have your freedom to speak. You now have your freedom to go anywhere you want to go. You'll be looking left and right, be conscious of where you are going to. And which is not meant to be so. The country is, everybody has access to it to move the way you like. In as far as you are not, you don't have the intent to commit crime. You are going out to survive, to look for your daily meal. It's not until you go out now, you wish your parents that you are going home, or you wish your family that you are going home. At the end, maybe later now, they will not say that you are at the police station. For what? They just say they saw something on your phone. What is it that they saw? Because this phone now you are using now is meant for business. You can use it for social media business. You can use it for your business by advertising what you are doing. So today now we are in a global world. And no, you cannot expect in a global world now for me to be using a Nokia 310. How will I use to promote my business? Is it not the so-called phone I will use? Which is now, the phone now is not make, if I have a smartphone today, I can connect to the world concerning my business through social media. I can connect through Facebook, I can connect through Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok to promote my own business. So now, if I now make it tomorrow, now they will not be telling me that I want to have access to my phone. When I was hustling, trying to make, where were you? Where were they? They were nowhere. But now, I now make it now, they will not say you want to have access to my privacy. So the NSAC protest should come to an end of it and should reinforce the police. Give them a proper training. Tell them the work to do. This is not the work. They are not meant to be causing hold up at the road. Unnecessary hold up. If you see the way the hold up is serious, I wish Nigeria politicians can be serious in the situation of the country. Nigeria will be a better place to stay with. Even Nigeria itself is tired of itself. Nigeria has a way want to travel to another country. The country is good, but the politicians, are they good? That is the thing. Are they ruining the country that will be suitable for both foreigners and we that are the citizens to be enjoy the goodness in the country? Nigeria is a blessed country. So we are not meant to be soft, we are meant to be enjoying. I wish the American government can come to this country. Sorry. I wish American governments now they have access to take in charge of this country. Because they know what is this country, mostly that our aspects. They wish they are in Nigeria, the Nigeria is in America. Nigeria will be a better place. It will even be seen the way everybody will be coming to Nigeria to be doing business. So what I want to say is that they should end SARS protests. That SARS of a thing, they should reinforce the police. We do not need SARS. Neither they do not need SWAT. Because they are not doing their work. We need good intelligence in the aspect of terrorism, in the aspect of kidnapping, in the aspect of corruption. They should be, they should be specific in their own job. Army should be in their own. Police should be in their own. Not police doing the work of NDLA. Not police doing the work of EFCC. No police doing the work of custom. So what, then why do we have police? Why do we have SAS? Why do we have custom? Why do we have EFCC? Why do we have the so-called force? They are, they are intelligence in different aspects, in their own aspects, in their field. That is why they study criminology. Before you go to, that's why now, let me now put this for example now. That's why you not go finish uh, O level. You say you want to join police. For I for they don't give the person any more training. We should not even have the experience of a police force. A police is meant to guide the country, to look the fundamental issue that is happening in the country by fighting, by what is happening. Like there should be peace, there should not be fighting at the roadside. There should create everywhere should be cool and calm. The area should be green, green. That is what they are meant to do. So the answers of a team, they should come to an end of it. So there should be peace, and they should listen to the voice of the youth. Now we need the youth to rule the country. We don't need old men again. We need young ones that see how vibrant, they are still vibrant, they are intelligent and see impact. Do you think it's high time youth have their own party? Do you think they are yes. ready? They should have their own party. See, I've forgotten, see Fela Shai, now you were saying that you want to have MOP, Movement of the People. It's strictly for the youth. You want to create, you want to develop a party for the youth. It's time for the young one to rule the Nigeria. We don't need old one again with their old mentality. They are using their old mentality to be ruling it. See what Donald Trump said to Donald Buhari. He said that our president is, is risen like a sick puppy. You say, reason that, how will an American president be saying our own country is, is ruling the country like a sick puppy? This issue will come up. Before Buhari will come outside to speak, it will take time. Okay, come out, come and speak. He's not even talking to what is relating to the matter that is happening to the country. The kidnapping, the so-called Fulani S men, what is happening at Ibadan or Shu, they are not meant to do any action. So the country is even fed up of the situation of what is happening at ground, even now to talk of the masses that are in the country. So I have to say, let them hear the voice of the youth. And the youth should come outside to fight for their rights. And the youth should come outside to rule the country, not the old one. Baby, let's go. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Olamiraju. Mr. Olamiraju, with the current situation of Nigeria, 
most especially influenced by the NSAS protests. Do you think Nigerian youth's voice were heard? Do you think Nigerian youth now have a say? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigerian youth can have a seat in the government house? Uh, to me, I don't think uh, Nigeria, uh, the, the voice of the protester, didn't, they didn't hear the voice of the protester because if they do, they won't even plan to, to innovate the um, the toll gate because I heard that they want to renovate the to the toll gate. That is why um, I heard on the uh, on on net that second wave or uh, second wave of inside protest. So they didn't hear because if they hear, they supposed to you know they supposed to provide all the, uh, what the protesters are asking for. So they supposed to do that before they even think of renovating the toll gate. We can see if they hear the voice of the protesters, the protest they will, will hear something like second wave of protest. Never will we hear that. I don't think they hear the voice of the protesters. If you were to be a person at, at during the time of the protest, what would you have done differently? Uh, to me, I'm a party. <laughs> I don't. I only think government. I don't like to even say anything about government. I don't like it at all. But would you vote in the next coming election? I don't vote. In fact, till my, till even now, I don't even have voters' card. What about if the youth come out together and have their own party? Would you vote? I don't. I don't believe in government. That is why I said I'm, I'm party. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Amoy Aluashola. Mr. Amoy Aluashola, with the current situation of Nigeria, most especially influenced by the NSAS protest, do you think Nigerian youth were being heard? Do you think Nigerian youth now have a voice? Of course, um, from the aftermath of the happening, we can see that um, actually there are some people started responding to it. It may not be an immediate response, but the truth is that our voice has been heard. Either is, um, you know, reactions from all over the world, outside Nigeria and even our local neighboring countries as well. I believe that with time, um, subsequent uh, happenings, our voice will be heard and um, of course we have no option than to listen to us. Do you think it's high time Nigeria to have their own party? Do you think they are ready or they are not ready? Um, of course, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. For us to have a, um, a party as a youth party, we cannot totally separate ourselves from the adults. Of course, uh, most of the youth emanate from the adults, like we have fathers, we have mothers. So we cannot totally say, okay, this youth adult, we don't, this um, youth party, we don't want adults. The truth is that we must carry everybody along. The, uh, what we just need to do is to bring that um, youthfulness in us, we bring the new vibe in us and by that way I believe that we have a party that we can call our own. Would you vote in the next coming election? Um, Would you vote in the next coming election? Would you vote? Of course I will vote. Definitely I will vote. Nigerians have to say, oh my, he choke, he restricts my airflow. <laughs> now tell me your own opinion. Do you think with the current situation of Nigeria, most especially influenced by the NSAS protest, do you think Nigerian youth now have a voice? Do you think Nigerian youth were being heard? Do you think in the next coming election, Nigerian youth can have a seat in the government house? Now tell me your opinion. Drop it in the comment section. This is the part I have to sign out. But don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. You all to keep watching. Stay subscribed to Enola Badmas on TV. You know we love to keep you entertained. So I come your way next time. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Bye-bye.